A little closer to home, we'll be watching two areas out in the central and eastern Atlantic for likely development within the next several days. But the potential is there while low at this moment. Well, something watch uh, something worth watching very closely as we head into the weekend, and that is a tropical wave which has not yet developed. This is the area of potential development, and at the moment, Hurricane Center maintaining a low potential at that. So let's look at the two computer models. This is a comparison of where low pressure centers may try and form from the euro and the GFS GFS and red euro in green. We'll probably be watching around South Florida into the weekend for that potential development quickly by Sunday evening night going into Monday. We may start to see a little bit of organization now whether or not that is just a tropical wave or does it organize into a uh, more substantial system like a depression or a storm that is still unknown models in pretty good agreement at least in the short term as we go further into the forecast period notice they start to diverge a little bit. The Euro kind of broad a little closer to the Louisiana coastline, which isn't a bad thing. This would give us much needed rainfall to start the week. GFS a little bit farther south, but notice this is Monday evening and by Tuesday it's already inland over Texas. So this is going to be a very fast moving system regardless of what happens. Now it looks like where that system may try and progress, it would have fairly limited wind shear and it may be able to take advantage of this upper high. What the upper high on top of a tropical system does is it allows for exhaust. It allows for the storm to develop. So that may help some further development of the system, which again is not there yet, which is makes the forecasting very difficult. One thing that may work against it is the fact that we're going to have very dry air across the Gulf as well. It'll have some moisture associated with the system itself, but it is going to be surrounded by very dry air, which so far this season has been a huge player in keeping activity fairly limited. The steering for the system is all going to depend on the upper high, which unfortunately or fortunately is building back in over us. That will keep that wave moving due east. The Euro kind of has a little almost notch in the high that allows the storm to get a little bit closer to us, whereas the GFS has a very strong upper high and keeps it farther down to the south, which is why the Euro has been trending a little wetter for us. So here is the GFS forecast. This keeps the high fairly strong. Here comes our little wave coming off of South Florida moving across the Gulf and again the upper high strength would keep really all rainfall away from us or most of the rainfall and keep the center of that system well away from us. So the big question is going to be really the strength and position of that upper high as we head into this weekend and early next week. The upper high is going to be building